Greetings to all of our YouTube subscribers and friends. Welcome to episode number 102 of If This Car Could Talk. We're so glad you joined us today and this week's feature car is actually a truck. It's a 1970 Chevrolet C10 to be exact. It's been in the same family since it was bought new over half a century ago. Today owners Bernie and Carol will explain the story of their prized family heirloom. So sit back and enjoy today's feature and be sure to give the video the thumbs up and share it with everyone you know. Please feel free to leave a comment about this truck or anything else that's on your mind. We always appreciate your comments and read every one of them. So without any further delay, here's the Juilliards to give you the scoop on this carefully preserved C10. Now, let's go for a ride. Hi, uh, I'm Bernie Juilliard. Along with my wife Carol, we own this um, 1970 C10 Chevy pickup. It was her father's pickup in on a farm in Minnesota, and uh, her brother actually bought the pickup when it was two years old, uh, and they tried to haul grain and stuff out of the fields with it. But being two-wheel drive, just wasn't wasn't exactly what they wanted, so. They uh, updated to four-wheel drive in 74 and Carol's dad purchased the truck from her brother and he had it until 2013 when he went to a nursing home and we acquired the truck. So it made its way to Arizona here and it had a couple new fenders and some interior work and, and that's where it is now. So we uh, enjoy having the truck. It's got a, a small block Chevy in it, um, original 172,000 miles on it now and the engine has not ever been overhauled. It had major leaks when we bought it and we got most of them stopped up. So we were on Interstate 10 and I was alongside of a, uh, um, a car hauler that had obviously come out of snow country this was in the winter here and things were thawing off anyway as I came up alongside it a whole it looked like a shovel full of gravel and snow and stuff come <laughs> flying off that truck and it peppered the front end of our truck and broke the windshield and so we had to have some repaint done and until then it was the original windshield yeah we kind of wanted to keep the original windshield in it but that didn't work out because uh, the original windshield had a, a State Park of Minnesota sticker in it from 1978, so <laughs> it's, it's gone. I like having a truck around the house. Just um, We used to use this thing not often, but probably once a month or something. Whenever we need to haul lumber or furniture or whatever. And, and we aren't the only ones either that have used it over the years there grandson with from moving and from and our my cousin over in Cave Creek we used it to help move him so it gets used it's a it's not a beauty queen it's a user truck <laughs> we go to once in a while to go to a show I, I got a huge trophy one time because there was only two trucks there at the show <laughs> <laughs> There is no headliner in it. It's a metal, and it's got original fly specs from Minnesota, I'm sure. And Carol's dad um, got tired of the manual steering and put a power steering pump and, and gearbox on it one time, so that's nice to have that. No farm equipment or anything for the farm was ever bought new because Dutch people just don't do that. They take care of what they have. It lasts a long time. And it, when we bought it from the estate, it had not been stored in a building all the time. So when we first drove it, we opened the pull vent that you use for air to come in, and the interior got just covered with leaves. There, it had sat out in the fall in the grove that everybody has in Minnesota, the wind breaks. And we opened up those vents and the leaves just flew all 
over the interior of that truck and I don't know how long it took to get all of those out of there. It came off the farm in Minnesota that my grandparents have farmed, my parents, my brother and his son, my nephew, are farming it now. So it's into the fourth generation, but not quite a hundred years, so it's not a centennial farm until in the late 30s or 40s. We'll make it a centennial farm. So we have three grandkids and we're not sure where this pickup is gonna end up, but we would kinda like to see it stay in the family. Well, that concludes another episode of If This Car Could Talk, where the vehicle's story is just as important as the truck itself. We think this tale of a vintage pickup being in the care of the same family all these years is a lot of fun. Be sure to give this video the thumbs up and share it with your friends. Leave us a comment on what you think of Bernie and Carol's sweet little truck. This next Sunday, We've got a real blast from the past for those of you who remember and respect muscle cars that exude both power and luxury from an orphan make, Mercury, and how revered they've become among collectors. This 1970 Mercury Cyclone spoiler with every option on it we love to see. A 429 Super Cobra Jet with Ram Air, a 4 speed, a high impact color combination, and lots more. This car is so cool, we know you'll love it. Until then, remember, please be careful out there.